Good morning. Hi, Ralph. The time is 8.18 a.m. It's 14 degrees and sunny. Today, it'll be sunny, with a forecasted high of 21 and a low of 10. Have a nice day. Turn on kitchen lights. I'm Ralph, and this is Home Culture. In a previous video, I mentioned how we have a smart home. By no means is this anything that's completed. It's still a work in progress. But slowly, I'm adding devices and actions so we can automate our daily routines and be able to control these devices with our voice through a Google Home Assistant. The devices that we're able to control are both inside and outside the home. For example, I'll show you some of the stuff that we're able to do. So I can control our garage doors. Hey Google. Open back garage door. I can turn on the TV. Turn on TV. Sure, turning on shield. Hey Google. Open YouTube on TV. Okay, launching YouTube on shield. Thank you. I'm here to help. I can even turn on the sprinkler system if the grass looks a little thirsty. Hey Google. Start watering main program. Okay, starting the sprinkler system in the program A. And if we're chilling outside and it's starting to get a little dark, I can turn on the lights to the pergola. Hey Google. Turn on pergola lights. Okay, turning the pergola lights on. By no means is this the extent of what we can control. There's a whole lot more of other devices that we can do, but this is just an example. We don't have a mailbox, and so Canada Post is probably upset with us. But this past summer, Anna and I built our own mailbox, and this is it. And what we did was we used a baluster that we found at Habitat Restore a mailbox that we bought at Home Depot, and a support arm from Home Depot. And because I'm a tech head, and we have a smart home, I also incorporated a contact sensor. That way, when we get mail, and it opens and closes, we'll get notifications on our phones that we have mail. And then once we did this, we decided, okay, we need to put this in the ground. So the plan is, is that we're gonna take this spike, put it into the ground, and then we're gonna take this to put this together and then the mailbox will slide the base part on top of this down onto here. That's the plan. I'm hoping that it'll turn out once we get it all into the ground. To help with driving this bike into the ground, I volunteered my youngest brother-in-law. And if it wasn't for my sprained pinky little finger, I'm sure I could have done a much better job. After the spike was in place, I attached the support block and adjusted it to be nice and plumb. The mailbox ended up fitting perfectly onto the support, and I was glad that the plan came together. I always love when a plan comes together. The only thing left to do then was to hide the base of the mailbox since it appeared to hover kind of like above the ground. Otherwise, I thought it looked great. Anna and I bought some landscape bricks to place at the base and create a box around the post. We started with placing the first row of bricks level on the gravel ground. For the second row, we glued the bricks using a landscape brick adhesive and a caulking gun. And finally, the interior of the brick box was filled with landscape stone. And this is the finished project. The bottom half has a nice base created with landscape bricks and stones. 
The mailbox wood is stained and has been treated with several coats of an exterior waterproof seal to help protect it from all the elements. Now we have a mailbox that not only looks good, but is smart. As you can see, I'm really interested in technology, especially how to incorporate it into our lives and how to make things a bit easier, more comfortable for us, or just to automate everyday chores. If you guys are interested in this stuff, if you want to see any more content on it, leave us a comment, give us a suggestion, and we'll see about future videos. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Good night. That's a fake smile. I want a real smile. <laughs> That's even fake. <laughs>